Welcome to the Thunderdome. Today we're going to talk about how you can get started as a music producer. Start making beats for free. Let's go. Alright, so if you're new to the channel, welcome. I encourage you to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and let's give this video a thumbs up so other people can see how awesome this video is. As in today's video, we're going to talk about how you can get started making beats today if you want for free. Now, obviously the minimum requirement is a laptop. You need a laptop, a computer, a desktop, whatever you need. And... 4 gigs of RAM works fine, but I recently learned that to run a DAW, which is a digital audio workstation like FL Studio or Logic or Ableton, 8 gigs of RAM is a minimum requirement because it actually helps it run a lot smoother. You avoid the probability of crashing more often than not. So yeah, I highly suggest um, if you are in the shopping market right now, then 8 gigs of RAM works. But like I said, right out of the bat, internet connection and laptop, basics is all you need obviously and if you have that then we can get started so right off the bat uh this list you can literally get started without paying any money for anything and this is good for anybody with little to no money especially the times we're living in now a lot of these businesses are actually really they're, they're really um they're being very uh thoughtful in the sense that they know that the struggle is real so first things first we're starting off with our digital audio workstation our DAW and Ableton is actually offering a free 90 day trial. Ableton is actually offering a free 90 day trial of Ableton Live 10. So you guys can just go to ableton.com and get your free trial for 90 days, start making beats, and it's a full suite. And Ableton is not sponsoring this video, I wish. But yeah, you guys can check that out. So for 90 days in the next three months, you start making beats for free with Ableton, the full suite. And it's pretty, pretty sweet. If Ableton's not your cup of tea, um, if you have an iMac, you have an iPad, you have an iPhone, you can use GarageBand for free. What's it called? Okay, you need to calm down. FL Studio also offers a free trial, but keep in mind that with the FL Studio trial, you won't be able to go back to the files that you've worked. Like, the work that you saved, you can go back to those files. You can go back to the beats that you saved. So, you gotta keep that in mind with the FL Studio trial. But yeah, right off the bat, we have a way to make beats for free. Simple as that. Now we can move on to plugins. A lot of people are like, oh, plugins are expensive, and da, da 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 And I understand that. As far as audio effects goes, Ableton has a couple of pretty cool ones, whatever. I'm still trying to figure them all out, but at the end of the day, you can go to pluginboutique.com. You can just go on Google and look for free plugins. Uh, pluginboutique.com has a couple of free ones you can, you can check out and just find some that, you know, they resonate with you and download them. That's it. They're free. Uh, they actually have some relatively cheap ones, like 5 10 15 $20. So, yeah, you know, we have our DAW out of the way, and we have some plugins out of the way. If that's really what you need, some producers are like, you don't need plugins to start off right off the bat. I'm still trying to figure out plugins. So, like, what? Anyways, that out of the way. BeatStars, you can get BeatStars for free. BeatStars, you can pay $20 a month, and you get 100% commissions. Like, if you sell a beat for 60 bucks, you get the 60 bucks. But if you don't have the $20 a month, you can't afford it right now, especially if you're not really, you're just getting started, you're about to get started, you don't really have a big library, you can get started with BeatStars for free and sell your music for free. The only problem is BeatStars gets a 30% cut and you only keep 70%. But for someone that's just getting started, that's not that bad. So right now we have all that taken care of. And the next thing that you can think of. So next up is something that a lot of people ask They're like, okay, well, you know, um, but like stock sounds are stupid or like they're so boring or they all sound the same or there's not enough sounds for me to get creative or make the type of beat that I want to make. Nah, son, nah. Little Mermaid. We'll see my Little Mermaid, y'all. I mean, Ariel was tripping though. She's like, I'm 16, I can do whatever I want. No, you can't, you can't even vote. Ableton actually has some pretty good uh, stock sounds. There is one drum kit that I'm actually pretty fond of. It's called uh, Pete something. Let me see if I can find it. It's called Feet Pete. 
featuring Pete Kent, and it's pretty, it, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty dope. You should check it out. So they have some pretty good sounds. They have some pretty good audio effects. They have some pretty good instruments, drum racks, all that good stuff. But if you want more, just go on YouTube, go on Instagram, go on SoundCloud, go on Twitter, and look for other artists. You know, look for um, other producers, people that are making music, people that are making beats online. And some of them are offering, you'll see that they're offering free uh, sample packs. They're offering free drum kits, or free 808s, free kicks, free snares, free melodies, all that good stuff. They'll do like contests for their fans. So yeah, take advantage of that. But the only thing that I recommend is support the hustle, you know? You know, they put in all this hard work to create something awesome for you. And some of these, you know, some of these producers, they're offering royalty free. So that means that you can grab some of these sample packs, you can grab some of these 808s, all these cool sounds, and you can make beats and you can actually sell them for profit. And you don't have to worry about paying anybody else in the future because you got them for free. You know what I'm saying? So the only thing that I recommend is supporting the hustle. And what I mean by that is you can't support the artist financially, like, you know, buy merch, you can't upgrade and buy like, you know, actually buy some more like loops or stuff, then the next best thing that you can do is share their content, share their crap, you know? Go listen to one of their songs on Spotify, go watch one of their videos on YouTube and share it with your friends. You might know somebody that is looking for music for like their podcast or someone that's looking for music for, you know, I don't know, for like their graduation video montage or for like their wedding or for like their sweet 16, I don't know. But get creative with it, share it on your Instagram, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it on I don't care just that little type of bit like, like every you guys need to understand that every like every share every comment and every subscription makes a difference so just showing that little tiny bit of support will go a long way because it increases the exposure for that creator so you sharing someone's video that offered you a free sample pack it's doing them like it, it's a big service so keep that keep that in mind you know they're doing something for you they're offering you free sounds and in exchange you're helping their brand grow so come on let's help each other out last but not least some of you may suck at making beats like me just kidding uh last but not least is youtube university youtube is free just go on youtube and anything you might want to learn about music production making beats the way you want your drums to sound the way you want your melodies to sound your 808s just look it up on youtube just type it in how do i make hi-hat sound like Two chains. You can literally type that into YouTube and you probably will find an answer. How do I make a beat that sounds like it's perfect for Jay-Z? You will find something like that. You will. So just type it in, watch some videos, don't drown in the sea of YouTube videos because then you will you will hold yourself back because all you're doing is gathering information, but you're not applying it. So yeah, take that into consideration and like straight up. Watch a whole bunch of videos, watch a whole bunch of YouTube videos. Just don't get caught up in the sis. Just don't get caught up in the game of watching YouTube videos for the rest of your life. And then apply what you learn. So the other day, uh, what was that? I think like two weeks ago, I said it in my last video. I'm going to put a, whoosh, a card right here. I think I did it wrong again. I think it's this one. Whoosh. So like two weeks ago, I learned how to chop samples to my liking. And that's something that I learned from a YouTube video. You know what I'm saying? So I watched the YouTube video and I'm better for it. Last week I learned something else and I'm better for it. So whatever, wherever you're getting stuck in your music production journey, just go to YouTube, see if they can help you figure it out and then apply it right away. Apply it right away. Watch the video while you're working and then apply right away. And then that's it, bada bing bada boom. It's crazy to believe that this is what we started with. How do we go from that How did we jump, like, <laughs> how did I come up with those two different things? Like, I went from boom, 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 to... How did I go from that to this? Uno, vez, uno, dos, tres. Just kidding. I'm actually, like, a natural Spanish speaker. Una vez más. Ready? Here we go. Are you ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Oh, oh, donde esta tu mama? Guys, there are no excuses for why you can't be making music for free right now because there are options. 
you have your free DAW, you have you can find some free plugins, free sounds, you know, you have a free system where you can sell your beats. So bada bing bada boom. Alright, y'all, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you got some value from this. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys want me to talk about or what you want me to do in the next video or what you think of this video. And like always, don't sleep on me and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.